Hello world, I'm Matt Lucas and this is... I'm Joe Comerford. And today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about Muay Thai in 2023. So Joe, first of all, what is the state of the sport this year? Since the pandemic, a lot of gyms, a lot of stadiums have suffered economically. So there's been a bit of a revamp to the whole industry of Muay Thai. So at the moment we're seeing a big push for entertainment shows rather than the traditional five round gambling centered Muay Thai that we saw in the stadiums. Yeah, there's that. So, uh, for example, at Lumpini, we have one championship. Also, Fairtex fight every Saturday. We also have Lumpini World Championship. Um, all three entertainment shows, primarily three rounds. There's a mix of MMA at Fairtex fight and uh, one championship. Then over at Roger, then there are big developments there as well. A company called Plan B, which is an advertising company out here in Thailand. They do a lot of the billboards mm. around Bangkok. Bangkok. They also own some intellectual property with Burry Ram uh, Football League. So they bought 51% of Raja Demnan Stadium. They revitalized the stadium under a new company called GSV, Global Sports Ventures. So they renovated it. It looks beautiful now. It's like an Art Deco theater. They're running the Raja Demner World Series every Saturday now. Uh, and they have, they're combining with a few promoters like Pet Indy uh, and Palang Mai along with their own show. That is the state of Muay Thai very, very quickly. Let's go over some of the, the fighters the promotions and also the gyms you need to look out for so first up some of the fighters okay so number one on our list would be sexan sexan's been around for a very long time a lot of you would know him uh through fighting people like chad collins or tyson harrison he's known as the con mayon con the man who yields to no one Okay, he's got a very forward pushing style, a very exciting style, so definitely keep an eye on him for 2023. And you've mentioned a few other people. Of course, there's Ferrari Fairtex, who is a very, very classical uh, female fighter out of Fairtex Training Center in Patia. He recently dropped a TKO loss to up and coming Fabio Riz from Venom Muay Thai. Definitely. T Take a look at both of those guys. Fabio knocked out Le Tewada at Raja Demner not too long ago. Hits like a truck, but Ferrari, well, he fights like a Ferrari. Very tight turns, a lot of angles. Very, very exciting to watch. Another one on our list would be Danny Rodriguez, who is mentioned by some of the Thai journalists as the Mayweather of Muay Thai. <laughs> so he actually has an undefeated record. He, in the last year, has become a Roger Dunnan champion and a Roger Dunnan World Series champion. He's very, very exciting. Training out Sinbi down in Phuket. He beat Yadwicha Buntse twice in the Roger Demler World mm. Series, so very, very accomplished. There's also Luis Kajaiba of Phuket Fight Club, Jaleel Barnes of Phuket Fight Club. Uh, both very, very good and fighting more on the traditional shows. Jaleel is fighting a lot on the Palang Mai show, which is the Wednesday night shows run by Source Mai. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we talk about promotions. Fighters you gotta look out for. Yad Wichau, who we mentioned, he recently re-signed to Raja Demner in World Series. And there's Mateus Casarino, a very good Italian from Seven Muay Thai out in Rei Ong. But for female fighters, who do you have? One would be Barbara Aguirre from Brazil. Uh, again, another stable fighter out of Phuket Fight Club. They've got a big range of fighters and she is one to definitely look out for. Yeah, she recently fought Doc My Ba Fairtex, uh, mm -hmm. a very, very good accomplished Southpaw. Doc My Ba beating her on points out, one championship. Definitely look out for Doc My Ba. Uh, Barbara, like you said, picked up a WBC uh, world title, beating out Joanne La at Rebellion. So she's very good. Uh, there's Supergirl Jerun Sok, who recently fought Stamp 
fair text on a kickboxing fight, you know, switch of opponents last minute, did very well. Uh, there's Fanny Palumpe uh, from Greece, who's very, very experienced. One person I like a lot, Quan Kao Por Mungpet, yeah. who's a rising star for sure. Very, very young as well, mm -hmm. about 16. Yeah. yeah, she's about 16, 17, fought in the WBC Youth Games, won gold there, recently competed in the amazing Muay Thai Festival, mm. regularly fights on the Lumpini World Championship show as well. Uh, one more that I'd like to mention is Lisa Brearley, mm. who trains with uh, Manasak up in Chiang Mai. So last year she won the Super Champ 8 Women's Champion, so she's come quite a lot in the spotlight. Very sharp hands, very strong style, very good technique. So in the next year, her and her partner Manasak are going to open a gym. So definitely keep an eye out for her because she'll be becoming more active uh, throughout this year. Of course, <coughs> there's a list of names that we can't cover, but a few other Thai athletes I like a lot. Uh, Petsy Nin Sor Pung Tong. Uh, there's also Karakat Commando Drink, who recently fought Celeste Hansen. And for foreigners, of course, there's Alicia Rodriguez, uh, Paloma Aranza, and more. So the male division and female division are just exploding with mm. talent, both Thai and foreigner alike. But they're coming out of gyms, and what gyms do you think are really ones to look out for this year, Joe? In the last year, we've seen a lot of fighters come out of Phuket Fight Club. They've got a really strong staple of Brazilian fighters, but we're starting to see a few more, as mentioned before, like Jaleel Barnes. Another one that I would keep an eye on with a lot of strong foreigners is FA Group. FA Group has been around for a very long time producing fighters like Pech Bunchu and Yotin. There's a lot of strong fighters who have been showcased on one. Uh, recently there was the Belgian boy who- Yelta. Mm -hmm. Yelta, who uh, fought on one. So keep an eye out for fighters from FA Group because a lot, a lot of very strong foreigners are starting to go over to there to improve their clinch, clinch game. Of course, there's my personal favorite, Fairtex. There's athletes like Stamps, Samapet, Ferrari, then foreigners like Smilla Sundell, uh, and more out there. Aaron Zakin, who's fighting very regularly, and they're increasing in their capacity. Uh, there's Revolution Gym down in Phuket. Mm -hmm. They have some very strong Iranian athletes. Speaking of Iranian athletes, you gotta mention Venom Muay Thai. Of course. Uh, which has athletes like Reza, who I know you like a lot, and yep. Sajad. Sajad is the current Raja Demner World Championship, so another strong, strong gym. Yeah, a lot of very strong punches coming out mm. of uh, Venom. A uh, few coming from sort of the Eastern Bloc with sort of a more kickboxing style, but transitioning to a strong Muay Thai style, and they're bringing very, very strong boxing into their game from Venom. So those are some of the highlight gyms. Obviously, we can't mention them all, but other ones to look out for, PK Sanchai, of course, Pet Indy. What are some of the other top gyms that are coming off your T-Dead 99? T-Dead Gal Gal, uh, Solid Dechapan is mm. one to keep an eye out for. There's a lot of fighters that are fighting on a lot more of the traditional shows, but Kunsuk, one of their oh, yeah. strong fighters, came out with a good knockout on one championship a couple of Fridays ago, so definitely keep an eye out for them. Yeah, so there's a lot of up and coming gyms, gyms that are established and breeding new talent, mm. and they're piping them into promotions. So like we said before, there's basically two types of promotions now. There's the more traditional shows, and then there's the entertainment shows. So Joe, what are some of the more traditional shows? Some of the more traditional shows other ones that you might see on Lumpini or Rajadamnan or rank at Rangsit Stadium like Moi Man Wan Suk, which is out at Rangsit Stadium, uh, True For You, uh, the Palang Mai, and a lot of the Kiat Pet shows. There's even mm. some Kiat Pet shows down in Koh Samui. Mm. So they traditionally run on the five round format with the first and second round with fighters tending to feel each other out and then picking up in the third and the fourth, and then enclosing the winner in the fifth. So 
it's still continuing that traditional stadium Muay Thai that we love. And that traditional stadium style is still there. It's still thriving. It's just buttressing uh, the entertainment side. Right. I think the two are very much going hand in hand and growing together. On the entertainment side, like we talked about before, you got to mention one championship uh, because they're giving big paydays. You know, the one Lumpini show every Friday now at Lumpini gives out about $10,000 in bonus prizes which is a lot Taiwan Chai got fifty thousand dollars as a bonus uh, for his knockout over right. his opponent so there's a lot of money coming in also of course you gotta mention Roger Demner World Championship Danny Rodriguez got a Ducati motorcycle for right. winning his fight so big prizes over there as well I think the next tournament winner will get 1 million baht which is a significant amount of money it's about thirty thousand dollars yeah and for those australians out there it's about forty thousand australian dollars so it could set up a fighter quite nicely there's basically right now the, those are some of the main promotions and they're the main stadiums right now are Lumpini and Raja Demnern mm -hmm. and they're more or less now switching times uh we have uh, the Wednesday Palang Mai show, the Thursday uh, True For You show at Raja Demner. Then Friday is one Lumpini, Saturday morning is Fairtex Fight. Uh, then there's a little bit of a clash, but not too much. Uh, Saturday afternoon is Lumpini World Championship. And Saturday night is Raja Demner World Series. Uh, then the stadiums, the other stadiums are running as well, like Rangsit. Channel 7, uh, Kip Muang Nan, yes. uh, Max Muay Thai is having daily fights. So there's a lot going on with the sport. Where are some of the places that we can watch the shows? Okay, there's a lot of ways that you can view a lot of these fights. So for people who would like to view some of the more traditional fights, you can find them on the Pet ND Facebook. You can find them on Siam Fight News. Some of the news sources are for the Western fans out there. YouTube channels like JKN18, or you can actually find them on the Thai TV YouTube channels like Channel 8, maybe Amarin TV, Channel 7 HD. These are some of the ways that you can view the fights. A lot easier to search and find fights basically you type things into youtube and something will pop up wrapping things up is there anything else you think people need to know for muay thai in 2023 i think the only thing that people need to be aware of is that muay thai is really going to explode this year there is really no excuse for people not to watch fights with the accessibility of fights being on YouTube, free streaming on Facebook. So I think people really need to just keep an eye out for the, some of the fighters we've mentioned, some of the gyms that these fighters are representing. And you can check out all these promotions on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, even check out other platforms like TikTok and Instagram to follow your favorite fighters, follow your favorite gyms, promoters, etc. And thank you so much.